I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the tower. Ding. Ten minutes or less. So TNT. Yeah. I, I read a story that, uh, and I'm sure, it's actually what I got to talk about is very short, so I'm sure we'll tangent to wherever. But so there was like a shootout with a Mexican drug cartel. Okay. And uh, this happened in Mexico. Yes. Okay. And with the police, and the, and they killed a bunch of people. And one of the things they found was that there was a little spider monkey. That was killed in the shootout. He was dressed in a little bulletproof vest and like a camo jacket. I heard about it. And they feel that it was like one of the guys, like, because I guess it's become a trend for cartels to have exotic pets like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't find, I read this later that the reason they found, uh, well, Escobar. Pablo Escobar, the guy who they re- – was yeah. because his monkey was what who led them to his hideout. Like, he had a pet monkey. Uh, like, they, they somehow followed the monkey or something f- through the jungle, and that's how they found his hideout originally. Uh, um, but, yeah, like, so I'm like, yeah, this poor little monkey. They have like a little picture of him. He was, like, dead on the ground next to his owner. So they don't know if he got killed in the firefight or his owner got killed. And he went to go be by him, and he got ended up getting killed after that but yeah, yeah he was dead yeah. and, but he was wearing a little a little bulletproof vest and shit i was like i mean it didn't work that's insane it's pretty i mean honestly i could definitely see if i was a you know a multi-million dollar coke dealer you know just speaking hypothetically here oh, yeah obviously like, I, I i'm not that because i live here right um but yeah, I would want a pet with a bulletproof. I think it would be cute. It'd be like, hey, look, we got your pet monkey a bulletproof vest. And I'd be like, oh, I love you guys. Yeah. Go sell some more Coke. Yeah, I feel it. Well, because like, honestly, like a bulletproof vest is expensive, but how, how, much, is, how much is it going to be for a monkey-sized bulletproof vest? It's way less Kevlar. <laughs> I mean, like, it's probably 200 bucks. I mean, like I said, we're a multi-million right, dollar exactly. drug cartel. It's a drop in the bucket for... It's nothing. Yeah. Give him a li- I'd get him a little army hat with like one of them, yeah. one of them uh, half, half-shell army hats that and stuff. That would be adorable. Give him a little cigar. Wait, that's 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 animal abuse. <laughs> Get him a cigar. Got a smoking monkey. He just smoke. He's just, like George Burns. Just weld a, a freaking black and mild to its face. <laughs> wow, why is that black and mild? I don't know. Just I'm just gonna install steel wings on his back so he can yes! fly. Yes, <laughs> turn him into a cyborg monkey. I mean, we're multi millionaires. Yeah, we'll we just can do it every Wire it right into his spinal cord so he can flex his wings and fly. It's honestly no worse to what they're doing to animals with Neuralink. And the, Oh, yeah. Hey, I didn't hear about there. that. Was that like where they put the puppies in the cages and the heads are sick? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, <laughs> I was listening to something. This radio show I listened to, I um, they have a guy on there, and he he's uh, he he plays the the kind of like the jock personality. And I don't know if he's really like that in real life or whatever, but they all kind of play a character or whatever, right? And he does a he does a conspiracy corner where he's like, he'll be like, oh yeah, I got my sources on. And he'll talk about some random conspiracy, you know, a lot of it's BS, you know, you can tell it's just out Mm -hmm. there crap. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was talking about how there was some video of like Dr. Fauci in like a lab with like, with dogs strapped into a thing and their vocal cords taken out and they were putting bugs on their face to tell him. I was like, he was like, yeah, dude, he's in there. He's in the video. He's talking about it. And the host of the show is like, what the hell are you talking about? Like where? Where does this even come from? You know, and uh, it's... I, do, I love I love when you hear the tone of voice that somebody has when they say Dr. Fauci. That's my favorite, though. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you're either like, oh, yeah, Dr. Fauci or they're like Fauci. Yeah. <laughs> God dang, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Foucher is out here doing his thing. <laughs> The disdain in a person's voice. Yeah, dude. Some people just like <laughs> just the hear, they hear oh you're talking about Fouch, huh? <laughs> talking about the Fouch. Yeah, so uh if you were to have an exotic pet, Jones, speaking of exotic let's pets, see here. What what do you think you would rock? Like you you want all logistics out of the like someone yeah. who could take care of it for me a thousand percent. Yeah, you want something that's gonna represent you, that's gonna strike fear or strike joy in the hearts of your opponents. I Okay. Let me think. Do you know something? Cause do I know do something? Do you know what you would do? I mean, be... I have ideas. Yeah. Part of me, when you first said that, is like, if I had like a big plot of land, yeah. I, would ha- I would love to have a bunch of parrots all over it. Okay. 
because it's just color for birds flying around. Yeah. People like parrots. They're like, dude, hey. that's cool. Like, they could talk. Like, I, like is, it wouldn't be intimidating, but it would be, like, beautiful. Like, people would be like, good choice. God damn, that's awesome. This is a good choice. Yeah, I thought that might be cool. Wow, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why that popped in my head, uh, but that you, seemed really would you, awesome. Would you train parrots to talk? Are you, are you cool with talking birds? If I had that many, I probably would. <clears throat> Yeah, so that would be a thing. If I was going to go with something like ferocious that I knew wouldn't kill me, mm-hmm. I probably would go with a – ooh, what would I go with? It, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's funny you should bring up parrots. I was just saying – I said on an episode of Dark Souls the other day, I was like, I think that 90% of talking parrots all know what are you doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what words parrots know. Uh, exactly, they like know hello or crackers or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Or like, Actually, but all of them know that. what are you doing? All of them. But uh, I what? would say I would say if I was to get if I were to get an animal, it, I'm more conventional, Jonas. I'm gonna go with like black panthers. I want like twin black panther females. Twin? Yes. I want them on chains. And then I want to just walk with, like, one panther in each arm just, like, escorting me down the street. And I think, like, because they're cats, women are still going to be like, oh, they're cute, but they're a little dangerous. Kind of like me, Jonas. I'm cute and dangerous. I mean, subjective. Thank you for agreeing. Subjective, yeah. (laughs) Thank you for agreeing. Subjective. No, (laughs) fact. Uh, Fact. Fact. I just didn't want to come out and say that. Fact. It's it's all right. You can admit it, dude. I don't – if a vicious animal, dude. Like, I like black – I could see you, like – and I could see you, like, them have, like, them collar and you're holding one chain in each hand. You're just walking down your – like, someone knocks on your gate. You come out the front door holding two panthers on chain collars. Yeah, with Mira and Tonka. Wow, we already have the name. (laughs) Jesus, I've been thinking about this. Had him since birth, yeah. Yeah, dude, uh, I don't know what vicious animal. like. You could have a shark, Jones. You could just take a a shark on a chain. Yeah, dude, I'd just have a tank. Just flops. Just flops around with me. I'd uh, go dean, go dean, go dean. What kind of vicious animal would be like... I want to like. I mean, I think a lion might be cool, but I feel like that's not... Like, maybe like a big Kodiak bear. Okay. Like a big, like when it stands up, like it's a 10 foot tall bear, okay. dude, that I know isn't, it's not going to kill me. That's like a hundred percent. It's definitely going to kill you. Well, right. But if I, but if I knew, <laughs> if I knew that like yeah. having this, it wouldn't kill me. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, you just yeah. imagine like you're walking with like, with mm-hmm. a, a, a Kodiak bear has a, a collar around his neck. You're holding the chain and he's like double your height and you're just like leading yes. him. How intimidating. Would that it's shit be? freaking nuts, dude. But it always, that always ends up in the person getting killed. I feel oh like. yeah. Yeah. Any, I would never own an animal that was bigger than me as a human because <laughs> even if they were playing, they could kill me. Yes. And you see this stuff happen all the time. So I uh, I saw on Reddit there was a guy who he had rescued a hippo baby and he had like raised it. And then like it was like, I don't know, he was with the hippo for like 10 years or something. And then the hippo just ate him one day. Yeah, because I hear hippos are pretty ferocious. Yeah. Like they don't look. I mean, you think, oh, hippo, das-. no. They are big and angry animals, dude. They just don't have sharp teeth. And the thing is, is that even even that they're unstable. Like you never really know. You never really know. Like the animal could be in that one, just that one time where it gets scared or it gets freaked out, and then oh my god, it decides to just attack you. I mean, and that attack would be perfectly okay, okay, in like a group full of other hippos or other bears or other big cats, and it would like they'd be able to shake it off. But as a human, you're soft and fleshy. Right, right. I mean, even look at like Siegfried and Roy. They had those trained tigers they used in their perform, and they do they use those tigers for dec- years, decades, and then yep. one day the thing just turned and attacked him. Like, yep, like that. Yeah. Yep. I mean, in the classic story of like the uh, the owner who raises the snake, and then the snake turns and bites him, and like you know, I, I don't know, man. I just feel like it's a bad idea to be hanging out with bears and and crocodiles, even if you trust them. That's, yeah, dude, I don't. Yeah, dude. I've, although having crocodiles run around on your property, yeah, that would be kind of cool too. If you knew they weren't going to eat you, like that would be. <laughs> That would be intimidating, right? Like you have like a moat around your house and there's just crocodiles in it. Yeah. And people come up and they're just like, they're just chilling like at the edge of the water. I don't know. Do crocs get you girls? I feel like a bear would get you girls. I feel like uh, the panthers would get you girls. Oh, yeah. The panthers for sure. Parrots is going to get you a different type of girl. You're going to get a different type of lady with parrots. But I think they'd be like, I kind of like hippies. Oh, and I yeah. feel like there'd be some hippies to be like, oh, my God, oh, they're yeah. so cute. I'm like, you, you want, know what else is cute? You want a 42-year-old mom of three with dreadlocks and a coexist tattoo. 
<laughs> That's what you're looking for. That's She's, what you're looking she for. She has patchouli on, <laughs> a, a, a puka shell necklace. <laughs> I don't wear cologne. I just put spices on my I neck. Just, I just grind up bay leaves and rub them in my hair every morning. <laughs> she, she has dreads in the carpet smack to drapes. <laughs> On that note, go to thecrazytown.com to hear more awesome conversation like this. Oh, for God. Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.